Let the vengeance begin! Howdy, howdy! Sudovil here, and welcome to Game 4 of Shadows Winter Tournament. In this game, I'm going to be playing the Lizardmen against Black Phillips High Elves. Now, before we get going, I'll talk a little bit about my opponent. So, Black Phillip, interesting to know, Black Phillip is actually a character that is the devil in the form of a black goat in the movie The Witch, which is really cool. So it turns out Black Phillip doesn't have a channel. He's just uh, in, this, in the tournament playing and having fun. But my theory is that this is actually Heir of Carthage, and that is his secret second account. That's my theory. So anyways, we'll get looking at our armies here. So um, we're on Imira Swamps. We have lots of water and trees. And so this is going to benefit specifically uh, a few units on each. So I brought for my front line skink cohorts. They do have the aquatic trait and they do very good in water. So I got five of them. I do got four heavy hitters, these uh, croxagores. So croxagores were definitely buffed in the last patch. So I've got four of them. I did bring in some tower spears, which were buffed quite a bit. I think plus two melee attack in the last patch. And I brought in two units. Of skink skirmishers just for the poison and just to try and take out things in the air and I do have Mazdamundi and with Mazdamundi I have the ruination of cities which is his bound spell uh, just to get some damage in a banishment which is also a bound spell which is one of the reasons Mazdamundi is so powerful shield of the old ones which was changed in the last patch it used to be 44% magic resistance. Now it's 22% damage resistance. A pure ward save and plus 8 leadership, which is awesome. I brought Apotheosis for the heals. Now I did bring Comet of Cassandora. And this is something you don't see a lot. And I'll explain why I brought it. Because I brought it to match up with Net of Amatok. Because I wanted to catch any really expensive units and try and blow them away. Uh, I got also have Cold-Blooded, which stops Rampage. And Sunburst Standard of Hex Swaddle which is 12% missile resistance and nine, plus 9 melee defense. I was expecting to see uh, uh, these, I can't remember the archers. There, there are some armor-piercing archers now for the for the High Elves. I do have a Greater Arcane Conduit, Roiling Skies, because I was wondering, well, maybe we're going to get our, our Alariel on her, her, her Pigeon, or we might get a Star Dragon, so that's minus 22 melee defense for everything for 25 seconds after you cast that's in the sky. And he does have immune psychology and everything else like that. So I started, I decided to start in here just in case he had, um, oh, like bolt throwers. Well, maybe. Or he's going to have a lot of, a uh, lot of, I was really worried about his ranged attack. So he did bring two dragons. So he has a, he has a princess on, I think this is a moon dragon. And uh, she has foe seeker. Moon Dragon's Breath, which causes fire damage. She can fire while moving, causes fear and terror. And she does have another basic Moon Dragon to go with her in the air. And uh, where is Caster? There you go. The Mage of Life, which is what you would expect. Very good choice for this match, I think. Uh, has a, the, the Starwood Staff for increasing the power reserves for magic. The Book of Hoeth for greatly improved power recharge rate. Regrowth for the heals. Shield of Thorn for the 22% physical resistance and f and weapon damage. And Earth Blood for the heals. And, of course, Life Bloom for the heals every time you cast. Now, for the main army. The, the thing I was worried about when I was doing some testing is I was worried about Alariel and her big heal. I was worried about lots of White Lions. Because White Lions have an ability, which you don't really think about but it's called forest strider and it actually makes them more powerful in the forest like better melee attack and melee defense by quite a bit so i was a little worried about that so he does have three white lions of trace including the pure main company which have uh sundering and they also have a uh, 30 meters around them 18 percent physical resistance which is an excellent ability he also has some spearmen just the basic frontline spearmen has three of those for the anti-large and two units of archers. I was worried about, I think it's the Sisters of Avalorn, because they're armor-piercing, but he didn't bring them. And this is why I brought the Net of Am Amantok. So I was doing a little bit of research into this match, and the Fireborn are nasty in this matchup, because they are armor-piercing. Uh, sorry, they are, have a big anti-large bonus. Bonus to verse 18. They, they have uh, this martial mastery. They're fire-resistant, physical resistance. Like, they are... a nasty nasty unit they have 51 melee attack 53 melee defense 
and uh, so I was really worried about them. So that's why I brought that. So I'm going to get things going because it's going to take a while to get the matchup started. But I was worried about these Fireborn. I I correctly guessed they were coming, and that's exactly why I brought the Comet of Cassandra. And but I didn't guess the Moon Dragons. I didn't think I was going to have any dragons. I thought I was going to get a Lariel on her her uh, hawk or whatever it is, Great Eagle. So I'm just going to get things going. So all, all I got to do, I'm just going to run straight over there. And I'm actually going to take one of these skin cohorts and I'm going to try and get around and into this position so I can eventually get behind them. And I'm going to take my other skin cohorts and I'm just going to try and get them in position. I'm going to try and take this engagement as much as I can in the water. I, I, you know, you can't guess that, but I'm going to try and post up. You can see I've already posted one up there. I'm just going to try and get my units into this position so that I can be in the water where I can. Otherwise, I'm already looking at his at his uh, his army, and see, I'm already starting to try and get units on units because I want to get my uh, uh, Croxagors onto these white lions, and I want to get these guys up just to take you know the skink cohorts. I just want them to take a damage, but I'm going to start actually very specifically. Here we go. So I've got these Croxagors on these white lions. I got these Croxagors on these white lions. These Croxagors on these white lions, and these Croxagors aren't really going anywhere. They're just kind of posting up. And I want to get Mazdamundi, I want to get Ruination of Cities off early, and I haven't seen the Fireborn yet. They're still hidden. So I want to get this Ruination of Cities off. So I am going to start taking some fire into the Croxagors, not so, so worried about it. I think I'm going to get the Ruination of Cities off over here somewhere, but basically the line's starting to engage. I want to get Mazdamundi up, and my Spears I want to, and Skirmishers, I want to get them when, whenever I can. I'm not really in a hurry, but this is what I want. Skin Cohorts in the water. In the water, in the water. So I'm taking these skin cohorts around, and I do believe I'm going to cast Ruinations of City. There it is, and it's going to go off, and uh, not great, but here's a big problem. Boom, these Fireborn come out, and they're going to come right for these Croxagors, and they are going to crush them. I've got my Bound spell going off here. Already you can see in the background. I didn't see these guys yet. I've got the bounce spell going off. It's going to take out some of the archers and it's going to do a little bit of damage, but not a whole lot. Basically, I'm trying to get everyone in and engaged. I've got the skink skirmishers here. Now I do see these fire bones at board and I'm taking a crushing. So I've got apotheosis on them and they are going to uh, they are going to rampage. I'm going to give them cold blooded to stop them to get them out there. I'm going to replace them with troops and I am going to put Ned of Amatok on them. This is why I brought Ned of Amatok, and I'm going to get Camelot of Cassandora. Here we go. I've got it set around him, and I've got Shield of the Old Ones going, and I want, there's a Camelot of Cassandora, aiming right for them. It's aiming right for them, and then they, then they move, and boom, a 100% whiff, <laughs> and then they run away. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> So, uh, things are going a little better on this side. Skink Cohort's coming against the Spearmen, and uh, I've got these Croxagors are getting beat up by the Princess, but I have got the Pure Main, and I've got some more White Lions, and I have these Croxagors sort of in the right spot right here, and I've got these Croxagors coming back in. I just want to get onto these White Lions, and here we go. This is what I want. Skink Cohort's into the back, and I've got some Skink Cohort's way over here, so... I'm not really the best on my micro, but I have an idea and I try and follow it. So I'm going to get them over because I want to get on the other other guys. So he's going to come in and go after these skin cohorts. I've got on these archers. I've got these sour spears with shields in the back line. We, I've routed these spearmen. And we're doing all right. We're getting a little dragon's breath in here, but the croc scores are doing okay. Mazda Mundi's in, the, in place. So I'm going to be using apotheosis where I can. I've got an apothe apotheosis on these guys again, these croc scores. They are out of control. I have no more... Uh, ability to get there, but I'm just gonna get these guys just to shoot up at these dragons just to put some pressure on He's got the breath going down again on these sour spears. I got these crocs of coming back I just want to keep Re-engaging everything and to keep the fight going. Okay, so I've got these guys coming in I just want to keep re-engaging so I've got another ruination of cities going off back here I wanted to get these archers and these fireborn. I really haven't done a great job I do have the skank cohorts chasing some guys off there and he has dove he dove in with his moon dragon, so I've just got everyone coming and get in there and fight is what I'm telling him. And I've got Mazda Mundi in there, and uh, he's right in the middle. But I do have like Croxagors. I have Sour Spears. I have another Croxagor, and I do have another Croxagor. So they're not going to be able to move around really good, and I'm going to be able to shoot in there just fine. I'm going to get some shots off, and hopefully we can get some some uh, pressure on. But the rest of this line is sort of buckling. 
I have managed to really hurt his uh, Mage of Life, and now I'm getting sort of all my units on something. So these guys have been wheeled out, and I'm trying to I'm trying to get these Croxors to come after here, these uh, Spears to go after here, and I'm trying to get everyone on something. So we are doing all right. We have the Apotheosis going off on Mazda Mundi. He is poisoned right now, unfortunately. He's got Greater Arcane Conduit going, and I want to get... What is it going to go? Oh, I'm going to try and uh, get the... Uh, Bound spell to get on these Pure Main Company. So I took the Croxagores away at the last second. Now I'm going to re-engage them with the Pure Main Company. And I do have this uh, Moon Dragon starting to rout. I'm going to get another breath on these Croxagores. But I'm just going to keep shooting them. Try and get them to go away. Send him to chase them. Even though they're... they're that's not a good choice. But, you know, you, you see units, you click on them. You see units, you click on them. This is going to go really good for me right here. And I'm trying to get these guys all going. Get these guys over here just to try and push away his units so they can't come back. He's got his dragon back here. I'm going to send these guys back to shoot this dragon that's wounded. And now this whole bit is clear. So there's not really much more for me to do. These Fireborn are going to come in and fight. I am sending these Croxagores to finish off the Pure Main Company. And uh, he's coming down and landing. So this is sort of the, the last stand. You know, we've got everything else. So I've got units on units. I'm chasing them out. And this is the last, sort of the last stand, so I am poisoned. I've got my big guys fighting in here. I do have my skirmishes shooting in here against this moon dragon that's really low. I do want to get it gone. The fireborn are going to come and sort of push me off. And I do have shield of the old ones in there. I am taking a lot of damage with Mazumundi. I have shield of the old ones. I have apotheosis. I've got the heal going. And I do have two croxagors. I have some spears on the way back. I have some spears over here. So we are bringing back some of our key units, our uh, cross gores and spears to sort of push in and the route goes and that is the game. So, very, very tough fight right in the water, right where I wanted to. That was really pretty lucky, but I did post my troops up there. I did try to bring the fight there and I don't know how much of a difference it made really. Um, I think uh, with the roiling skies or whatever giving these two dragons minus 22 melee defense so i think it was really helpful it made them easy to deal with when they were on the ground um these skin cohorts were awesome like it this this fighting in the water does make a difference and chasing down routing units like 43 62 24 24 and 50 so if you look we averaged i'm going to say we averaged 40 times 5 we killed 200 units really and that is what 300 times 5 1500 gold and with our sour spears 24 24 27 28 and 8 very consistent performance only 4 and 2 with our skirmishers but you know they were just there to put pressure on and poison things you know our crocs gores 44 50 54 and 38 they were just there to beat up the white lions i was expecting five white lions uh you know because they have that forest bit and they're very the white lions demolish sour Spears and Saurus Warriors, they do very good against them. And 24 kills with Mazda Mundi. So his bound spells, Ruination of Cities, and the Banishment didn't get a whole lot of kills. They And and I missed with the Ned and Amantok. This Fireborn got 69 kills. I specifically took Ned of Amantok. My plan was to use Ned of Amantok, use my Bound Vortex, and then use the Comet of Cassandora to absolutely obliterate these guys. And then bring in my spears so that's my whole plan right like i thought i'm gonna see these fireborn for sure that's what i'm gonna do and then of course i completely whiffed and didn't get any of that done but <laughs> i still had a plan uh and did my best to execute and uh, you know it was a fun game thanks very much black philip it was really great and had a had a bit of a chat before and after uh you know which was really really great and so that puts us at two and two in the tournament which is I'm extremely happy with that result. Obviously not playing the Dowie or to, to get a win with a non-Dowie faction is very, uh, is very fun. And this, this is very interesting. Uh, now I've played the Lizardmen twice now in non... Because I, I played the Lizardmen in the last tournament for, with uh, Shadow and now I've won twice with them. I've beat Chaos and now beat the High Elves. I think though the Lizardmen have an advantage in this matchup. I could be wrong, but I was just looking at all the matchups and everything else like that. It feels like they have an advantage when I was doing some of the testing and units on units. They just feel better, and for the most part, with the exception of White Lions. White Lions are really good, and those Sisters of Avalorn are crushing. So Sisters of Avalorn are really, really good against uh, hopefully 
<laughs> Hopefully I remember to edit that little that little bit out. And, uh, you know, just again, want to thank Black, Black Phillip for a great game. One more game left in uh, the round robin, and we are going to play Shetland Apache next. So anyways, I hope you found that interesting, and I will see you soon. <laughs>